guys, time for another Tuesday tip. So this month I kind of want to focus on thyroids. It's not really related to MTHFR, but it's such a common problem and it very often co-occurs. So I just want to talk a little bit about it. This week, let's talk about interpreting your lab results. So the first lab that your doctor will likely do is something called TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. It doesn't come from your thyroid, but it tells your thyroid how much hormone to produce and its levels are directly related to how much thyroid hormone is actually being produced. So a lower TSH means lots of hormones there, not a lot needs to be produced. Higher TSH means that your thyroid hormones are flagging a little bit. The normal range in the US is anywhere from 0.5 to five, uh, I believe it's nanograms per milliliter or something like that. Anyway, um, and within that, I mean, that's a very broad range. So your doctor obviously will look at treatment options when you fall outside of those numbers, but you may start to feel poorly even if you're within those numbers. So typically with my clients, I look at starting to support thyroid function if the TSH creeps above 2.0, right? Because then, you know, it looks like thyroid's struggling just a little bit. It's nowhere near out of range, but it's struggling enough that it could use some support. So if you've been looking at your lab values and don't know how to interpret it, that is TSH. And that's this week's Tuesday tip.